Welcome to Seek Week 2022. We are so glad that you decided to join in as we seek the Lord this yeah. year together. And I'm so glad to be with you. Um, we have a, um, it's been a good day today. Um, again, we are trying to seek the Lord's face with diligently, persistence, running hard after him, let, trying to let him know that we know we need him. <laughs> he knows we need him, but it's always a question about whether we know we need him. Uh, and so I want to thank God for this third night of Seek Week. We got many people still joining in, but we, um, and so tonight uh, we have a great guest, Pastor Reginald Reynolds. He is going to be our uh, our presenter tonight. I Anytime I told Pastor Reynolds today when we talked, I said, anytime he comes, I just love hearing him. The first time I heard him about three, four years ago at EQS, I was like, man, I want this brother need to come to the gate. And every time he has been a blessing to us. And I want to thank him for joining in with us tonight. Uh, he pastors Mount Pleasant in, in Midlothian, and he's part of our association. And, and he and I have struck up a little friendship here as pastors, and I appreciate that and appreciate him so much. I know uh, that you you will as well. Every time he comes, he blesses us. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank God uh, for the privilege of sharing with the Golden Gate Church, especially I want to thank my brother, my friend, uh, Pastor Vincent Parker, for allowing me this opportunity to share with you all. And then I am grateful just to be a part of the fellowship listening. You all have a good time. I'm one of those who believe I don't need a faith that I can't smile with. And I don't want to be a part of a fellowship where everybody looks like they're sucking on lemons. And so I am grateful to uh, just be a part, just to hear and to see what God is doing in the life of the Golden Gate Church. And so I'm going to get on and Get, on, get in the saddle and do what I need to do and then get out of your, your way. Tonight, uh, I want to uh, raise a question. Uh, have you all ever uh, sought God's uh, sanction on perhaps a decision you were making or you wanted God to, you sought God uh, for a relationship, asking God if, if, if it's his will or just went to God, asked God to, you're asking God to bless some endeavor you're about to undertake. I don't know if you all, but I've done that. But somewhere in my journey, I learned, instead of asking God to bless what I'm doing, my focus now is to do what I know God already blesses. And tonight, I want to share with you it may not be something, it may be something you already know, but how often do we remember Jesus saying, again, I say unto you. So again, I may be saying something that you already know, but of a certainty, I found out through life experience, God blesses uh, us when we seek him. Seeking God wholeheartedly is inherently blessed. Uh, People may go to God for many different reasons as to why they are seeking him. But I want to reiterate something that by virtue of the fact that we're seeking God and especially seeking God wholeheartedly, understand you're already blessed. We're already blessed by just seeking God with the whole heart. Uh, with that being said, I want to give us three reasons to why I believe, according to the word of God, that when we seek him, when we when we start seeking God uh, with the whole heart, the blessing has begun already. You may be seeking God for uh, maybe a, a, a challenge in your life and you're waiting, waiting, waiting and hoping that God will do something about that challenge. I want you to understand from the word, to, from the word of God that by virtue of seeking him, you are, the blessing has already begun. And so with that being said, I believe God blesses seeking him first and foremost, because when we seek him, we prioritize our relationship with him. When we seek God wholeheartedly, we put God in the first place in what we do in life. 
Jesus said in Matthew 6 and 33, a familiar passage of scripture, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The fact that Jesus says, seek ye first, that lets us know that seeking God, we prioritize him in our relationship. Uh, whenever we prior, when we, when God is kept in the first place, everything else falls into its proper place. Many times we make the mistake, some of us make the mistake of not putting God in the first place. And whenever God is not in first place, everything is out of place in our lives. But when we seek God and I, with a whole heart, and I want to underline wholeheartedness because if we don't seek God with a whole heart, we're going to come up short. God will not allow himself to be found unless we seek him with a whole heart. So first and foremost, that when we are seeking God with a whole heart, whole heart, we are, we are, pro, we are prioritizing God. We're prioritizing our relationship with God. And it is to be noted that when Jesus says, seek ye first, uh, God's kingdom and his righteousness is in the context where people were worried when, when disciples were worried about uh, food, clothing, how they were going to be provided for. And I look at that, that, that verse of scripture, God is saying to Reginald, I believe he's saying to you and me, seek me first. Don't seek my stuff. Seek me first and all of my righteousness and all these other things will be added. So first and foremost, uh, Seeking God is blessed because we put him in the first place. And then this idea of wholeheartedness. God, we're in a love relationship with God. And God does not want part-time weekend lovers, but he wants our whole heart. Uh, to, there are a number of places. Deuteronomy 4 and 29 makes reference that when we seek God with the whole heart, God allows himself to be found. And I, 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 I make that statement because God is never lost. But when we seek him with the whole heart, God allows himself to be found. He says it again over in Jeremiah 29 and 13, that when we seek him with a whole heart, uh, then that's when he's found or he, he allows himself to be found. Uh, the psalmist in, in, in uh, 63 and, Psalm 63 and verse 1, he said, uh, David said he sought God early. Uh, we do well to seek God early. We do well to seek God in the first place. But then not only should we seek God uh, in the first place, not only should we prioritize seeking God. And when we seek God uh, from the standpoint of prioritizing him, seeking God helps us to be remain keeps us mindful that we need God. We need God. Uh, Acts 17, 26 and 27 talks about the fact that how God placed us here at a particular time, at a particular place. But then verse 27 says that God created us uh, in such a way, he, he, he wired our DNA that we must seek. He made us to seek after him. Um, we're living in our created purpose when we seek God first in all that we do. I don't know about you. I need God every day of my life. I can't afford to, to uh, say that I don't need God. The more we grow spiritually, I believe the more we become dependent upon God. And subsequently, seeking God uh, reminds us of our, our need for God. Psalms 105 uh, verse 4 says that we seek God continually because we need God's strength. Uh, none of us can honestly say that I can, I can operate without God. Jesus says it himself in John chapter 15, apart from me, we can do nothing. So seeking God is a reminder of our need for God, of our dependency for God. When I think about the woman with the issue of blood, when you look at uh, her drive, her perseverance, her persistence and going through a crowd just to touch the hem, of a, uh, the hem of his garment lets us see how she recognized her need, her necessity for God. When we seek God with a whole heart, 
we are acknowledging that we are completely, totally dependent upon God. Again, the more you grow spiritually, the more we grow spiritually, the more we become dependent upon God. And that's exactly where God wants us to be. I think it is in Psalms 42 and 1, it says, as a deer pants for streams of water, the psalmist says, so does my soul pant for God. God loves for us to need him. Uh, the hymn writer was right, I need thee every hour. For me, um, oftentimes, I can't wait an hour, I need God every second. So, so, so secondly, uh, we recognize our dependency, our need for God. God created us to need him. And then finally, uh, seeking after God is an opportunity. And it's an opportunity that underscores, I'm going to make up a word now, Miss, or, uh, that we need God now. It's an opportunity for us to actualize or to pursue God at this very moment. Seeking God is not something that we can hesitate or procrastinate about. Seeking God is an opportunity that God extends to us at this very moment. We cannot afford to put it off. We cannot afford to, we cannot afford to say, well, I'll seek God next week. When Isaiah says, seek God uh, while he is near, call upon him while he may be found, what, what, what Isaiah is underscoring to us, and that word while is most important. He's letting us know that seeking God is an opportunity that's limited. It's a, it's, it's, the invitation is there, but it's for a limited time only. Some years ago, I was when, I, when you all were talking about retirement, I retired from my other job about 10 years ago, but... Uh, Prior to retirement, there was a uh, prior to me retiring, there was a neighborhood uh, corner store that I would stop by to have was my coffee run on my way to work, and um, I was familiar with the people in there because I was going there daily. One day they had coffee, you know, one week they, they had coffee on sale for twenty nine cents a cup, large cup of coffee, twenty nine cents, and so I I zip in in the morning, throw my twenty nine cents on the counter and. And uh, I, you know, zip out the door. One day I would do my, my regular routine. I'd run in there through my 29 cents. I was here at the door and, and the sales clerk said, hey, Reg, hold up. And I said, what's up? She said, this will be a dollar seven. I said, what? A dollar seven? She said, yeah, that sale was for a limited time only. Some people think, uh, operating under the myth that I can seek God when I get ready. Well, the opportunity to seek God is for a limited time only. That's why, again, Isaiah uh, tells us that seeking God, we seek him while he may be found. We call upon him while he's here. The opportunity to seek God is for a limited time only. Thank God that he loves us enough to give us the opportunity to seek him because when we seek him, Hebrews 11 and six says that seeking God is the opportunity to, we please God when we seek him. That's how we know God is blessed to seeking him because he said he's a rewarder of them who diligently seeks him and that without, uh, that, that, is, that is it impossible to please God without faith. Seeking God is a faith transaction and then I'm so grateful to God that Psalm 34 and 10 tells us those who seek God lack no good thing. So in conclusion, seeking God is inherently blessed when we seek him with a whole heart. And then, uh, then a, a most sobering truth that comes out from the word of God out of Psalms 14 and 2 says that God is surveying the landscape of, of the world. He's looking for people who are seeking after him. God has called us into a love relationship and he loves us so much that he sought us first so that we might seek him. When God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, uh, only begotten son Jesus came on a search and seek mission and aren't you glad that he found us so that we might ultimately move into a love relationship 
by which we seek him. Seeking God, if God calls us to do that continually. You will never find in the Holy Scripture where God tells us to stop seeking him. So thank God that he tells us from his holy word uh, that he blesses seeking. You don't have to seeking after him. You don't have to wonder if God is going to bless it. God blesses seeking after him. I thank God that he sought you and me and we are where we are now because God first sought your, your life and my life. God found us so that we might be in this pursuit in this love relationship with him of seeking after him. Uh, so again, pastor, thank you so much for allowing me to share those few words of why I believe that seeking God uh, with a whole heart is inherently blessed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Reynolds.